and shave Real men shave their faces Real men shave their faces So, good morning, Stevie Daily Shaver. Look, I love free advice. God knows I've given enough. So when someone suggested that I lay off the one blade shaves and I stop shrilling for the company, I thought to myself, I don't get paid anything to do this. The company sent me this for free and stuff it. It's free advice. That means I can ignore it at no cost to myself. So you know what I'm going to do today? That's right. I'm out with the feather. So there we go. So that uses these feather special blades. And I'm going to have me a one blade shave on the new version 2 core. Now I say that because I'm not sure if the one that I bought when they replaced it became the 1.1 or whether it's version 2. They're in the process of, I got one that worked and I'm happy. I've been shaving with it a couple of weeks ago for a whole week, loved it. Out with the uh, blade, which I'm going to go to the extra step of cleaning it, which means rag and a bit of warm water to wipe off the sticky residue. And the reason I'm doing that, because I really don't bother, because I can always clean the metal one, is I want it to go in easily. So here is the new version two. This is what people are getting. One other thing is I'm told the aggressiveness in the version two has been turned up comparable. There we go, it's in, that simple. Comparable, I think it's about 95% of the aggressive setting of the one blade Genesis. So, you know, like I said, it's the poor man's core. I love it. They also sent me the black and white. Now that's a lavender base um, shaving cream. Here's my one blade brush. And the only difference is this one has got a black and white knot instead of the... So they're virtually identical. A shorter, denser blob as opposed to the longer of the original one. I much prefer this. I think this is much more in keeping with the black and white. And I emailed them saying, boys, I think you should change. And they sent me the new brush. Now this was all complimentary. I didn't pay for it. You know what? Hallelujah, a win for Steve. So out with the lavender. Really enjoyed this. Drum roll. Cap off. It's got a gentle lavender smell. I think it's virtually the same consistency as the original unscented. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's wet the brush. So wet the brush. All I do is that, got a load. Now normally I'd froth, broth and lather with a bowl. They didn't send me a bowl. Boys, make a bowl. The other thing they have sent me is the new one blade disposable tin. Now you can't reuse it. Not unless you can shake the blades back out of the gap because the bottom doesn't come off. But that, as opposed to the original one that I was using, now this one is reusable, and that's, you can usually pick these up for one or two dollars, but the new tin is fancy schmancy, and as you can see, has one blade embossed on both sides. And I don't know, it'll take a really long blade The plug is the plug is less than optimal. So here we go, face lathering it in. By the way, this started out. I thought it was going to be a slightly different formula, but no, very thick, and it likes a tad more water. So add a little water to it because it is a really thick soap. By the way, slickness and glide is amazing. Blade, razor, face, blade, face, put it against my face, and just trust the pivot. Fantastic glide. In fact, I'll just straight away do a second pass up. Here we go. Get this side. Wet the razor and just go against the grain. 
This is gonna be a quick shave. Now this was four days growth of knocking off with this one blade. I know it's more aggressive. It does not feel more aggressive. It feels extremely effective. I always said to the, when I've emailed them, I said, I understand the problem. If you make the core too good, people won't cough up the big dollars for the Genesis. Oh, people like me will because, you know, there was a moment I had more money than cents. I need clean up, I clean up and that's it. In fact, that shave is socially acceptable. And that was 1.5 passes. It was an up, down, it was, all I did was dip my brush, dip my brush into the water and go back against the grain and wow, rehydrate my face. Lather it up again. Love the brush, love the knot. Highly recommend their accessories now. Are bloody good. This has a very strong lavender scent. Most of us are fond of it. If you know you have an allergy to, to um, lavender, then uh, maybe just go for the unscented because I think it's an identical recipe. Okay, the old... Now this is the pass. For cleaning up. Wow! This is the new shipping version 2. If you're gonna ask, how do I know I've got the version two? Well, I have to ask the company. I notice a slight difference between this one and my version 1.1, which I referred to as the version 1.1 for the following reason. I know they sent it to me immediately after they found the problem and they fixed the assembly. So they fixed up, but this head is perfect. The shave, perfect. Can I recommend this for $50? Can I recommend it for, I don't know, probably between 80 and 120 for the complete kit? I'm not, I haven't priced how much all this would have costed, but you know, absolutely. Um, it's on par. It is better than the metal Occam. Now that, I've tried all three blades, I've tried all three heads, and as good as this is, this is better. These sold for $250, discounted down to $200. These things, razor alone, $50. Bucks. You know, a quarter of the price. You can afford all the extra bits and still probably come out cheaper than this. I have to do a review. The handle, the head design. As a Kickstarter, highly recommend it. If you're in on it, paying $200 for it, can't really say that it's there yet. Uh, I think they would have been better off with um, some design changes. I really think this is potentially a great razor. It's not ready for prime time for people spending significant amount of money. Anything over $100, mm, there's a lot of good razors for less. Well, as a cleaner, BBS shave, two passes, maybe two and a half, hugely improved. If you've had a problem, send it back. Don't get a refund, get a new one. One day, when you can get a good deal, take them up on their offer to refund you the money, email them, and uh, get a couple of bucks towards its big brother. Is the big brother still worth it? Yes, it's made of, it's made of better product. <laughs> it's metal. But as far as the shave goes, they've gotten to the point where I can't say that I see such a big difference that I can say to people, get the Genesis over the core. The core has now gotten up to the point, fantastic intro um, to a new blade, the Feather Single Edges. Uh, what else they send me? Well, box stand blade and some new balm. Now I've been a big fan of their balm. This one's an alcohol-free, alcohol-free balm. So plastic's off, any set? Yep. This is also lavender based. So it complements beautifully the shaving cream. Love 
the face feel. Highly recommend. I highly recommend these two. These are fantastic products. This one had good face feel. It's a bit taller and it's a lot softer. Good, better. This one, you know, it's wet, will take a while to dry out, then I'll strop it. This one, slightly shorter, slightly denser, and uh, black and white, it suits the handle so much better. One Blade, keep knocking it out of the park. Their products are getting better, they're communicating with the community, and they are improving their product to the point where, should you own one, I'm just gonna say it, hell yes, you can unsubscribe from me now. <laughs> I'm a shrill. They sent me one for free. I sold my soul to Lucifer, but I shaved the best I have in weeks. I'm Stevie Daly Shaver. Wishing you all the best. Bearded man, you think that you're so cool, but your face looks like a small mustard.